Hi everyone, we're going to learn what a variable is. Variables are easy-ish. Okay, basically we've got three separate components doing three different things. We're going to smash them together so that we can drag out one unit, okay, one component with variables of these three different colors. We've got light mode, dark mode, mid mode. Okay, that's what a variable is. You grab separate components like these three, mash them together just to make things tidier and easier. You can switch between them. We make this one too. Okay, this one here is these three smashed together. Okay, different states for a button. Active, hover, disable, that is a variant. Let's jump in and actually make it. All right, what is a variant? Okay, I've made two buttons, okay, and I'm gonna name them, because I'm good. I'm gonna use that naming convention we learned before. So this is my button for uh, dark interfaces, so dark mode. This is my light mode. Okay, so they don't have to be buttons to be a variable. They don't have to have this naming convention. It's just helpful. But I've got two things. I want it to be a component. I want both of these to be components. Actually, what I might do is have another couple down here. Just duplicating them for later on. Okay, so I've got these two. I'm going to go make them multiple components for me, which is cool. So they're just separate components. They're here in my library under button. There they are. So the two things hanging out in my assets panel. Imagine if you combine them as variables. Okay, you select both of them and say, hey, these guys are just variants of the same thing. They go into something called a component set, which is this little dotted line here, and you leave them like a main component. Okay, it's a main component set. You just leave those along, and what you'll notice is, look, that disappeared. Can you see? Those two have been combined into one, called one button. Okay, it's just the button. But if you drag this out, look over here, it has a dark mode and a light mode. Cool, huh? That's what variants do. You take two or more components, you smush them into a variable, and then you can go through and kind of adjust them. You can have more than one variant. Okay, let's say that, let's undo, I'm gonna go back until we're back here. You might have a third version. Okay, or if I want a third version, that's already a component. Okay, so if you do want another version, because right now, right, I'm dragging out an instance of that one. How do I know it's an instance? Because that's what happens when you <laughs> alt drag or option drag out, and it's an instance. I want to break it apart. Smushy dush, where we go. We want to say uh, detach from instance. Great. So it's just a regular old kind of frame now. This is going to be mid mode. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm going to go through and change the color of it to pink. Okay. So that's a component, that's a component. This guy needs to be a component. All three of them can be variables. Now that's a component set. Most people just call that a component still, okay, even though it's technically a component set with the dotted lines. Okay, and over here in my assets panel, I've still only got one little thing. Okay, there's not three of them or two dozen of them depending on uh, how big your app gets or your design system is. But I can drag out one now and say, actually this is uh, mid mode. Light mode, dark mode. At the moment it just says property one, okay? Property one's not a great name. So if you select it here, you can say, I don't want it to be property one, I want it to be uh, mode. <laughs> so that when I go over here, I can say, don't put a colon in, there's two of them, okay? But it's a bit more descriptive. It doesn't change anything, okay? It just means that. All right, how did you find that? Variables. Now that we understand components, it's not so bad. And that naming convention, that's why we do that a little bit earlier on. Just tidies up our component list. You don't have to use variables, but you can see how useful they are. One thing to do all sorts of stuff. Let's do one more together just to show you. I'm doing too much light mode, dark mode. And um, let's do something else kind of practical. So this is not a component yet. This is going to be a button for um, the different states of a button. So this is going to be like an active button. This is going to be like hover. And this one here can be like disabled, disabled. Okay, and let me just change the colors of these. Okay, so those are different states for my web design. Okay, active when somebody hover, hovers over it, it gets a bit darker and this is gonna be my disable button. So we need to make them all components. So let's do that. Select them all, do it in one big foul swoop. Okay, so I've got three separate components that are all kind of the same. Where are they all in here? 
under my components. Where are they? They're in this one. Here's three of them. We'll watch them all become one. Boom. One button. To rule them all. Uh, active, disabled, hover. Strange things. Dotted line means it's component set. Remember, you can actually change like the one that it will default to. Okay. Change the order of them. We can name it in here. In my case, it's the button state. So if I drag out another one, it'll be this and the order has changed. Did it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it did. All right, that is it for our introduction to variables. But let's do a little bit more on variables so we can get to know them a bit better. I'll see you in the next video. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up, you likey thing, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do want to go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.